Mount Sinai values diversity of background and diversity of thought. I came in as an engineer. I didn't have much of a biology background. I didn't have experience with computational research at all before I came to Mount Sinai. It's really kind of cutting edge research. And so it just really drew me. I wanted a program that is open in a sense that it's accommodating to different types of students. I was looking for a program that is open to my choices and open to exploration. We teach biological concepts, but everything goes with a disease focus. What we are trying to do is to predict the way medicines can be precise. The thrill of discovery is what it's actually what I'm excited about in science. My passion has been making the discovery the original discovery. Go back to the fundamentals and try to find out something that nobody knew about. I focus my interest in how the neurons in the brain talk to each other. And one of the ways the neurons communicate is through molecules called neuromodulators. The current focus of the research is to discover new receptor systems in the brain. We started identifying new receptor systems and we were able to show that neuromodulators actually can block morphine reward. Now, that molecule is going to be developed to potentially a drug. My lab has been working on opioid drugs for over 20 years. And the reason has been primarily because of the unmet medical need to design a painkiller that would have less side effects. I'm a computational chemist. This means that I use computers to design molecules, to design drugs, and see how these drugs interact with their target. Our unique approach is to use computers and molecular dynamics simulations to understand how a molecule is modulating the conformational profile of a protein to envision how a molecule will behave in the interaction with their target. If we can identify dynamic signatures induced by these drugs, we have a way to optimize these molecules to be able to only activate a certain specific signaling pathway. I'm in the lab of Dr. Eric Sobe. Here I had the freedom to say, okay, I'm very interested in using mathematical modeling and these new machine learning techniques, and I want to apply them to a disease that is not fully understood. We are interested in mechanisms of, of disease, particularly heart disease. Why do people get arrhythmias? Why do they get heart failure? And then the pharmacology part of that is we're interested in figuring out ways to treat those diseases, figuring out ways to prevent arrhythmias, figuring out ways to improve function and, and heart failure. In the lab, we use these mathematical models of heart cells. So we simulate the heart in the lab and we develop virtual populations. And after we study these triggers on the population, we see what percent of the population actually formed the disease and what population didn't. And how can we intervene early on to prevent such an event from occurring? What pharmacology and therapeutics discovery is, is trying to do is to train people who are gonna be able to change the paradigm in terms of how diseases are treated and, and how drugs are developed. I really appreciate the journey that I had here in Mount Sinai. And I think Mount Sinai embraced me and embraced the differences that I brought. When I graduate from Mount Sinai, I will be taking with me a newfound level of confidence as I become a real scientist in the real world. <laughs>